Okay, uh, still in England, uh, still Sunday evening. Uh, was on, been on the road for a few days now. Did a time and money, which we'll talk about in just a minute. I'm going to write that down because I want to talk about that because it was a very small but very fun class, which uh, is all the thing that matters is that it's fun, I think. But uh, I'm here and most of my kids got home. My son is home from chiropractic college. He's in his second year of chiropractic college. I'm quite chuffed, as they say in England, which means proud uh, or happy uh, with that. I didn't think I'd be this happy with it, but uh, he's come home with his girlfriend from Spain, and she's gorgeous, and he's a good kid, so I'm real happy for him. But his younger brother came home from the Swiss military, uh, and he's at the end of basic training. They did this long march, and I talked to my wife, and she said, um, Ian, my younger son, is a little disappointed that you're not home. Uh, he's hurt his shoulder. And I said, well, Mike is there, and he's in his second year. And so I said, let me speak to Micah. So I said, look, here are the things that you have to consider if you've got, if he's got a shoulder problem, he's been carrying something heavy. And so we talked through him, and I said, okay, and, and it, I, I didn't realize how far you have to break it down because he's in his second year and there's things that he's done and things that he hasn't done, things he doesn't understand, and, and but things he's seen me do over the years. And so I said, try this, 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 and this, you know, and see what works because here's probably what has happened on that march. So the next day I'm talking to Nicole and she said, oh, Micah wants to talk to you. And he got on the phone, he said it worked. He said. It, it worked and it didn't work. He said, I adjusted him on the other side where you said to adjust him, and it worked. His shoulder pain went away. I said, brilliant. I said, it never matters what you've done. What matters is that the, the person gets better. I mean, chiropractic is not an explanation. Chiropractic is a therapy. Right? I've loved the fact that I am a chiropractor and a kinesiologist because people get better around me and because I can talk through Skype on the phone, which I've done a couple of times with my kids, I've talked to Skype, said, okay, here, try this, look here, move here, and they do, and things work. And that's what life is about. I said, I'm a chiropractor, my son is becoming a chiropractor, people get better around chiropractors. Find yourself a chiropractor. If you can find one that's a kinesiologist, I think that that is an extremely effective way to heal people. I, I go for chiropractic adjustments because I like them. Uh, years ago, when I was in practice, I was sued for $10 million. Uh, the man who was also sued with me was a podiatrist. He called me in a panic and he said, <gasps> we're being sued. And I said, I know, I know. I said, this morning I woke up and I was feeling a little puny, but now I'm worth 10 million bucks. <laughs> you know, and all of a sudden. And it was, of course, frivolous. It never fell through. It never happened. It never, but my attorney was reading the lawsuit and he said, wow, you chiropractors have come a long way. I said, really? He said, yeah, he said, you've gone from a in completely ineffective therapy to causing cancer. And I thought, wow, that was in the suit. I wonder why I was ineffective. I wonder why I never had to go to court. I don't know, www.micpeakperformance, but I am real proud of my kids.